welcome to Dapper Drams, where we taste and review whiskey to try to determine if the dram in our glass is indeed a Dapper Dram. Well, we're in the middle of spring here at Dapper Drams, so I figured why not take things out to the garden and enjoy this beautiful weather. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Daft Mill 2006 Winter Batch release. Daft Mill is a Lowland single malt Scotch whiskey. The Lowlands, seen here in red on this map of Scotland, are a whiskey producing region known for a lighter style single malt. This lighter style comes from the use of triple distillation versus the double distillation used in most other Scottish distilleries. A little information on Daft Mill. Established in 2005 on November 30th. Now November 30th happens to be a significant date in Scotland because it is St. Andrew's Day. Who's St. Andrew, you might ask? Well, he happens to be the patron saint of Scotland. So it's a little poetic that they got their license on that particular date. How about a little information on the bottle we're about to drink? As I mentioned earlier, this is the 2006 winter batch release. Why winter batch release? Well, I'll tell you, and I'll read it from the back of the bottle here. Daft Mill is a farm distillery owned and operated by the Cuthbert family. It only runs in the farm's quiet periods, midsummer and winter. That's right, Daft Mill is part of a working farm, so distillation can only really happen during the quiet periods, in the winter and midsummer seasons. A little more from the bottle. This winter release contains whiskey from six first fill bourbon barrels, which were filled on the 16th of December 2006. Winter batch release, limited edition of 1,625 bottles, distilled in 2006, bottled in 2018. So while there may not be an age statement on here, we can do a little math and determine that this is a 12 year old single malt Scotch whiskey. Why don't we have a pour and see what we've got going on here? Ooh, I love that sound. Just a little bit, we don't need too much. So let's say we get down to business. Oh, oh, geez. I'm getting a call from Jerry, you guys. Hang on, I gotta take this. What's up, Jerry? What? Petunias? Petunias, Jerry, really? In that part of the garden? That's a high shade area, Jerry. Petunias aren't gonna thrive in that spot. No, no. Go back to the nursery and get some begonias. I don't care what color, get a variety. Jerry, I'm in the middle of something right now. Look, just take the petunias and put them over in that spot by the fountain. Problem solved. Look, just get it done, Jerry. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jerry. Okay, let's get down to business, shall we? Let's go in for a nosing and tasting, huh? Oh. Very light and delicate. Dry grass, lemon lime, very nice. Green grapes, honey, very malty. Mmm, some creamy vanilla, bourbony notes from the bourbon oak. Pickled ginger, dried berries. Fairly fruity, green apples, pears, pineapple, orange, orange citrus, oranges and cream. Tropical, but not overly fruity. Very tropical. Slightly nutty, like uh, almond flour, biscuity. I'd like it. Let's go in for a taste, shall we? Mm. Nice, light, delicate arrival. Citrusy. Again, more of that lemon lime. Bright. Somewhat sharp. Somewhat sharp oak. Clean. It's a very clean and pure spirit. Again, that triple distillation. Hmm. 
pineapple, ginger, coconut. Nice coconut, pineapple, like a pina colada. Orange, maybe a little papaya. Very tropical. Sharp though, like I said before. Try a little more. Some vanilla, a little bit of pepper in there. Very nice. The finish is medium, medium short, oaky, lemon lime, some pineapple, not bad. As far as the mouthfeel goes, light to medium bodied, creamy. Try a little more. A little on the dry side. Mouth coating. Very nice. You know, I have to say, when I first tried this whiskey, I didn't really think much of it. It seemed a little boring. I mean, it was good, but it was a little boring. Bourbon maturation, no peat, no sherry, no fancy finishes on it. And I thought, well, what's the deal? Then I realized that this is just a more traditional way of producing scotch. Quality first fill casks, aged to a maturity level and not just an age statement. No frills, no finishes to cover up any blemishes. Other than wanting the finish to be a little stronger, I can't really find any issues with this single malt. Given the quality of what they have in this 12-year-old, I can't wait to see what they have in another five to six years when they have an 18-year-old on their hands. This is also bottled with a craft presentation. What does craft presentation mean? Well, there's no colorant added. This is all natural color. Bottled at 46%, a nice high strength, which really showcases the flavors. It's also non-chill filtered, which ensures that all of the flavors remain intact from the cask to the bottle. Really, this is a great way of showcasing what they have. Well, now that I've given you my opinion, I'd like to take you to Mr. Lee Evolved, who's going to give you his opinion on the 2006 Daft Mill Winter Batch release. So Lee, what did you think of this 2006 Daft Mill? Uh, Lee? You with us? Don't you throw that whiskey on the ground, Richard Patterson. I'll drink it. Give it here. Hello? Wake up. My hair. Oh, uh, hey, Paul. What's going on? You want me to review the... 2006 winter release from Daft Mill. That sample that you sent me a while back. Oh man, you know what time it is here, man? It's got to be like four o'clock in the morning. It's five p.m. You sure? Lee, you're in Virginia, not London. We're in the same time zone, my man. Hang on, let me see if I got that sample right here somewhere. Cut this light on. Oh, yeah, here it is, right here. I always keep it first going first. Smell the apples already. Mm. Let's go in on the nose and see what we got. Come on. Mm, a little popcorn. Fresh cut apples, definitely some lime, lime wedges, a lot of citrus, 
a little bit of oak barrel and some florals and perfume notes smells pretty good go in for a little taste Big time citrus, big time citrus on this thing. Really tropical. <sighs> Try one more time. Mm, finishes, I don't know, medium long. Kind of reminds me of a really, really good margarita. I had a good margarita one time down in the Florida Keys. Went to Jimmy Buffett's place. Mm. Yep. It's pretty good, man, I guess. Uh, I don't know, man. I guess if I was going to score it for you, I'd give it a... 18, I don't know, 18 out of 23 cows jumping over the moon. Yeah, it sounds like a good score. Right. Either way, I still think you're lying to me about the time. Because I'm tired. I think I'm going to go back to bed, buddy. I tell you what, you keep sending me these samples, I'll keep ordering them. Good night, buddy. Have a good one. Well, we had to take the long way around, but we finally got Lee's opinion. So the question of the day is, is this a dapper dram? Well, I'd have to say yes. A quality single malt that was presented without chill filtration without color added, at a respectable 46% ABV. As far as the score goes, I'm going to have to give this a respectable 12 out of 16 tacos. Good job, Daft Mill. You get a gold star. If you'd like to read my full review of the 2006 Winter Batch release of Daft Mill, check me out on Distiller, username generously underscore Paul. There you will find all of my reviews. Now, guys, hang on, Jerry's calling back. Jerry, what's wrong now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, Jerry. Tell me what's happening. What? The squirrels are being mean to you. How are the squirrels being mean to you, Jerry? Okay, okay, okay. Stay in your car. I'll be right over. Okay, bye. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go help Jerry. I'll see you next time. Okay.